Wow, you won't believe what I'm about to show you. So, Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, recently announced a brand new AI project that has shaken up the internet. Imagine if you could create any video you want just by typing some words. And what if you could bring back extinct animals, travel to distant planets, or make your own movie trailers, all with the power of AI? Sounds too good to be true, right? Well, it's not. It's actually real. And it's already here. It's called Sora, and it is, in my opinion, the most amazing and revolutionary AI project ever created, right after ChatGPT and DAL-E. And something that will take us one step closer to Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI. I am not exaggerating here, Sora will change the world forever. Like, literally. And I am going to tell you why. So subscribe to Stock and Hustle and stay tuned until the end, because Sora is about to blow your mind. Sora is a new AI model that can create realistic and imaginative videos from text instructions. It can also extend existing videos forwards or backwards in time. It was announced on February 15th, 2024 by OpenAI, the same company that brought us GPT-4, the most powerful language model in the world. Sora is based on GPT-4, but it also uses computer vision, generative adversarial networks, and deep reinforcement learning to generate stunning and lifelike videos. Sora can handle any kind of text input, from simple descriptions to complex narratives, and produce videos that match the style, mood, and tone of the text. Sora can also take feedback from the user and improve its videos accordingly. Sora is not yet available to the public, but some visual artists, designers, and filmmakers are testing it to give feedback to OpenAI. And let me tell you, the results are incredible. OpenAI has released some demos of Sora's capabilities, and I am shocked by what I am seeing. Let me show you some of them. Look at this one. This is supposed to be a woman walking down a Tokyo street at night, but this is not a real woman or a real street. This is a video that Sora created from just text. Isn't that amazing? Look at how realistic and detailed the video is. The woman looks like a real person with natural movements and expressions. The street looks like a real place with vibrant colors and dynamic signs. The lighting and the reflections are stunning and the whole scene matches the description perfectly. This is next level, guys. Now, here's the next demo. This is supposed to be a group of woolly mammoths walking through a snowy meadow. But here's the catch. These are not real mammoths, or a real meadow. Well, I mean, that's obvious, of course, because mammoths have been dead for thousands of years, aren't they? Haha. <laughs> but wow, this is like a scene from a movie, just like Ice Age. I mean, just look at how majestic and lifelike the mammoths are, and how they move and interact with the environment. Look at how beautiful and realistic the landscape is. The snow, the trees, the mountains, the sky, the light. Everything is so well done. And again, even if it's hard to believe, this is not a video that was shot with a camera, nor was it made by a team of Hollywood VFX artists. This is also a video that was generated by Sora from Just Text. Okay, so this next demo is even crazier and probably the best one out of them. This is supposed to be a movie trailer featuring the adventures of a 30-year-old spaceman wearing a red wool knitted motorcycle helmet. Yes, you heard me right. A spaceman with a knitted helmet. Like, what? This is hilarious, guys. Look at how absurd and awesome this video is. The spaceman looks like a real person, but with a ridiculous helmet. The desert also looks like a real place, but with a sci-fi vibe. The style looks like a real movie, but with a retro feel. The colors are vivid and eye-catching, and the whole scene is just so funny and creative. This is genius. But before we go any further, let's take a moment to appreciate how far we have come since the infamous Will Smith eating spaghetti video that was generated by text-to-video technology a year ago. Do you remember that one? It was so bad, it was hilarious. It looked like a nightmare version of Will Smith with distorted features and unnatural movements. It was a viral sensation. But for all the wrong reasons, it showed how much work was needed to make text-to-video technology more realistic and convincing. But now, look at Sora, and look how much better it has become since then. Now, it's able to create unbelievable videos that makes you question reality. Sora is a game changer, and we are lucky to witness its evolution. However, Sora still has some limitations and challenges that need to be addressed. For example, Sora can sometimes generate videos that are inconsistent, unrealistic, or nonsensical. This can happen when the text input is too vague, 
too complex or too contradictory. For example, let's take a look at this video. This is supposed to be a man running on a treadmill. But something is wrong here. Do you see it? That's right, the man is running in the opposite direction of the treadmill. This makes no sense, and it looks so bizarre that I am not sure what to say. This is an example of Sora failing to understand the physics and logic of the scene. Here's another one. This is supposed to be a group of archaeologists digging up a chair in the desert. But something is wrong here too. I mean seriously? As you can see, the chair is moving on its own, and behaving very strangely. It's spinning, bouncing, and floating in the air. I feel like this would fit inside a Harry Potter movie instead. Haha. <laughs> anyway, so this is an example of Sora failing to generate a realistic and stable video. These are just some of the examples of Sora's limitations, but there are many more, and they show that Sora still has a lot of room for improvement. Sora is not a perfect video generator yet, and it's not a replacement for human creativity and judgment for now. Sora is a tool, and like any tool, it has its strengths and weaknesses. Now, let's talk about another exciting field where Sora could have a major impact on streaming services. Imagine if you could watch unlimited episodes of your favorite shows just by typing some prompts. Imagine if you could create your own characters, settings, and plots, and watch them come to life on the screen. Imagine if you could explore different genres, themes, and styles, and discover new stories that you never thought of before. This is the future of AI content generation streaming services, and it's closer than you think. Okay, now the most important question. What does this mean for us? What does this mean for the future of video, and how will it affect people? Well, for one thing, it means that Sora will have a huge impact on different industries, especially the stock footage and the Hollywood VFX sectors. Think about it. Why would anyone pay $100 for a drone footage when Sora can generate realistic drone footage for free? And what if you need a really specific stock footage that is not available anywhere? No problem, just type what you want, and Sora will create it for you. And what about the Hollywood industry? Think of the VFX artists, who spend months and millions of dollars to create stunning VFX shots. How will they compete with Sora, that can create equally stunning VFX shots with no skills, no time, and no cost? Will Sora make their jobs obsolete, or will they find new ways to collaborate with Sora and enhance their creativity? These are some of the questions that we need to ask ourselves as Sora becomes more accessible and more powerful. Sora will change the world of video, for better or for worse, depending on how we use it and how we regulate it. So, what do you think of Sora? Do you think it's amazing, or scary, or both? Do you think it will change the world of video or not? And are you excited to try it yourself? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.